TitleMatchNetwork.com. <laughs> what about Sam Munchik's uh, territory when you worked with uh, Kevin Von Erich? What are some of your memories of matches with Kevin? Was he stiff? Everybody said Kevin was pretty stiff to work with. Yeah, well, Sam Mushnick uh, knew the governor. He knew all the senators. He knew uh, all the congressmen. Uh, you know, Sam, Mush, uh, Sam Mushnick was the man uh, of Missouri. I mean, uh, he was a money man. Right. He was a money man. And so when uh, he brought these guys in, like myself, and uh, he wanted me to... Uh, <clears throat> Russell, Dick the Bruiser, Dick the Bruiser, that old fart was 58 years old and he beat Campatera in the middle of the ring for the Missouri State belt. At the same time, I, I think I was holding, uh, I might have been holding uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Intercontinental belt. Yeah. I don't know if I was, but uh, a ring's a I, I, I know one thing, I was the only man in history a professional wrestling to hold the Missouri State title and the Intercontinental title at the same time. I'm well aware of that. Nobody, I, I mean, that's bigger than uh, the WWF title at the time. Right, right. Or at this time, I don't care what time. I, I mean, that nobody, nobody's going to duplicate that, Phil. You also got to work with uh, Pat Patterson, too. As you had some great series when you were the IC champion with uh, Pat. What are your memories of working with Pat? Uh, Pat was a great technician. A lot of people aren't aware of that, you know. You know, Pat was a homosexual, you know. Right. I don't know if he ever told you. I have never talked did, to him. Did he ever proposition you? Absolutely not. Never oh. talked to him. <laughs> oh, I can't say. I'll tell you a funny story about uh, Pat Patterson when he was living with his partner, uh, Louie, down in uh, Sandy Hook, uh, New Jersey. Uh, you, you can print this. Uh, my uh, girlfriend at the time, she wound up being my third uh, wife, uh, Nancy. <clears throat> we we stayed down. We went down there, and they and Louis says, uh, "Ken, you you still drinking white Russians, aren't you?" I said, "Oh yeah." So he goes down there, and buys two three quarts of uh, half and half, and the Kahlua and the vodka. And they have a big dinner spread for us, and they had some other uh, friends over, some other homosexuals. And so my my girlfriend and I, the only two straight people in the room, yeah, I mean, we get fucking hammered. So let, it's like two in the morning now. So I, so, so Louie and uh, Pat said, well, you take our bed. So we go in their bedroom, and, and, and my uh, girlfriend at the time, She's trying to get under the blankets, but there's a bedspread, uh, you know, a comforter. So she winds up tearing up the whole bed, you know, to get it. So now she's on the mattress. She's on, and I'm on top of the blankets. I said, uh, so I'm trying to reach over to hug her, and she, she's underneath the fucking blankets and everything. I said, Nancy, where the fuck are you? He's like, <laughs> excited. I can't fucking find the bitch. <laughs> so she said, so finally I said, get the fuck out of there. So I get out of bed, I go around, I fucking pull it. She's fucking trashed. I mean, black rice from white Russians all night long. So I go over there, I pull her out, and I fucking throw her on top of the fucking bed. I said, where in the fuck you been for the last five minutes? Ah, she's all fucked up. Yeah. That was uh, totally hilarious. Did you like working uh, Pat in the ring? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was great. He was like, uh, you know, his ex-tag team partner, Ray Stevens, Ray oh. the Crippler. Yeah. Ah, fantastic. Uh, he had all the same technical skills of uh, Ray the Crippler. Oh, yeah. I, I loved working with both of them. Yeah, they, they, they were great. How about Mil Mascaris? You worked uh, a little bit with Mil. What was it like working with him? A fucking disaster. Why do you ask? Well, it was, why was it bad? Yeah, because he used to take a shower with that stupid fucking mask on. That's why. Huh. Do you think he was, he was just trying to protect idiot. the business, or is it just stupid? No, he's a fucking egotistical piece of shit. Fuck him. I don't want to talk about him. Okay. You, you kind of touched earlier on why you were never you know, WF champion. Um, why do you think you never held, ha had the world title run? I think I had a drinking problem, and uh, I wasn't a real good uh, 
diplomat at the time. Right, you didn't play a politics game. Yeah, okay. and uh, I wasn't a kiss ass, and I wasn't going to tell, uh, you know, the old man what he wanted to hear, and uh, I didn't want to tell uh, Vinny, who is the current owner now, the the, the billionaire. Hmm. And well, God bless him. He is a billionaire, right? And uh, and um, but yeah, I, you know, I coming from an amateur background to an entertainment background, it was uh, night and day. Yeah, you know, back in those days, we didn't make the big money. You know, we we used to wrestle for thirty five, forty five, fifty five bucks a night. I mean, you know, gas was 50 cents a gallon, and people don't understand. Um, and so it wasn't, to me, money wasn't the end all. And, you know, I retired 20 years ago. And, uh, you know, the guys were, I think Hulk was making over a million. Andre was making over a million. I think Macho Man, Randy Savage might have been making over a million. And, you know. Right. I was still stuck making uh, 50, 60 bucks a night. Hmm. Um, so I, uh, you know, I, I said, well, I told uh, Vince, uh, he, I really didn't know how to negotiate with it. I was going through a divorce and I, I had some drinking problems and, and uh, I just, uh, I said, fuck it. Right. I said, uh, you know, it's, it's not worth it to me any, anymore to even, you know, become a diplomat or to, to negotiate uh, this and that. And by that time, everybody had uh, agents and lawyers and this and that. And uh, uh, basically, the business passed me by. TitleMatchNetwork.com.